Welcome back to another one, guys. I'm Zach with Blades LLC. We have a blizzard on our hands. I don't know if you can see out this window or not, but the snow is falling from the sky, something fierce. It's blowing sideways. The wind is just whipping here. It's currently Wednesday. We were out plowing, I don't know, around four inches of light fluffy snow this morning. So you're gonna see that in today's video, as well as we're gonna start out on Monday this week. You're gonna see plowing for Monday and Wednesday. So that's gonna be today's video. So uh, stay tuned, we're gonna get into some plowing from Monday and Wednesday. So I just came into this snow pile up here and it is rock hard. We have been just getting crazy warm temps with a lot of moisture. We've had rain for I don't know how many days in a row. So it took it down and then today of course it all froze up. So it's uh well it's currently 26 degrees. It's supposed to get a little bit warmer but not enough to really thaw things out enough here. Got about an inch of snow, so not a whole lot. We have one inch and two inch contracts. No zero tolerance accounts, thankfully. And uh, actually, I'm gonna kinda go into that here in just a second. I'll talk about how our accounts are set up and especially like this week, we got a lot of snow coming. Uh, I think there's snow, measurable snow forecasted for every day of the week. So I'm gonna try to bust this up into a couple videos for you guys. And uh, we're gonna talk a little bit about how I structure my stuff and how we know when to go out to plow because that's a huge question that a lot of people I think have. And there's a lot of different ways you can set your accounts up so it's gonna be different for everyone. So maybe I'll get into that here in just a little bit but we're gonna get buckled up here and get on to the next account, so. We'll see you on the next one here. We're off to the next one. Just wanted to talk briefly about how to know when to go out for plowing. And as I was saying, it's gonna be different for everyone depending upon how they're set up, you know? There's zero tolerance accounts, which mean you can't have uh, snow on the pavement accumulated at any time. So a lot of times that's like your Walmarts, your shopping malls, that type of deal where, you know, there's always people in and out, traffic. Anyways, you get the picture, right? So those guys are gonna go out as soon as the snow starts accumulating. For us, we do one inch minimum, uh, two inch uh, minimum. Those are kind of the primary two, correct? Yep. And. Uh, so we go out usually just before like an hour, maybe two before the snow finishes falling, unless it's an absolute just downpour of snow. Um, nine times out of 10, we're going out, you know, an hour or two before the snow is actually done falling. We have a good mix of both commercial and residential. And thankfully I kind of pick and choose between my commercials, I'm very picky. So none of those are like screamers. I mean, we have the shopping mall, they kind of do sometimes, but uh, yeah, they're it's better. yeah, they're getting better and it's been pretty, pretty low maintenance overall. So that's kind of how I like to do it. Now, like I said, everybody's gonna be probably a little bit different, but uh, that's kind of the gist of it. And it's really not that complicated.
and tires. This is so slick. Kettler is on ice over there. Wow. Look at this. Whew. Yeah, that's not a problem. This whole driveway is ice. I didn't even know she had dogs. Yeah. She said, yeah, if you got some. Pet safe? Pet safe, sir. Go for it. So, you got a knife? I think I do. Oh, no. Oh, I got one in here. Oh, okay. Well. Can you throw some down quick? Yeah. That'll happen. She's so sweet. She's like, do you think we're going to get as much as they say? I mean, what is it? I'm kind of worried about that. I was like, yeah, yeah, maybe. Probably a foot. <laughs> she said, well, I'm thinking of you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that is I got on here. Oh, it might just be dirt. That should be enough, right? I think so. Do you think she'll stay right there? Yeah, it'll be all right. Yeah, oh, yeah. Man, these garbage guys are just sliding around. I know, it's glare ice. You could ice skate on this. You could ice skate on Maxine's driveway, too. Oof, this is one of the most icy messes I've ever seen. Had to go up and shovel the dog yard up the hill here. Oof, that thing you could have skated on. It was so bad. I have to bring my ice chains for tomorrow's snow. Let's plow this one up. So icy. Are we plowing roads out on Mille Lacs Lake? Or are we plowing driveways here? Sure's got me confused. The only thing I don't see is nice fish houses. Well, actually, that's a lie. I do. I think we're on the lake. Ooh, it's slippery out here. <clears throat> All right, so just got done with that one. Whoo wee, she's slick. And uh, we got about two inches of snow down here. So full inch different than what we have in Princeton. Oh no. I hate winter.
Oh, this is a good situation. Extra heavy on right in front of the door here. There you go. Wow. All right. So we purchased a few new toys to work with out while we're snow plowing. We got a massive snowstorm coming. Probably up to like two feet potentially so we'll see what we can get done here we got a couple days worth of snow coming so bought these um, midland two-way radios picked up a couple more of these headlamps work great for shoveling getting stuff out of the truck whatever you need them for uh, i've had this one for a while this is a great option you can get this at walmart and it has a plug-in so you can recharge it kind of a nice feature but just wanted to share that with you guys Wes is loving the walkie talkies. I also bought this tow strap here. Which I believe is rated for 10,000 pounds. Should be good for the truck and the plow combined. We're gonna go load this up as well as bought a new set of jumper cables to a little bit longer set uh, last week or two, maybe two weeks ago now. Just haven't got them in the truck yet. So I'm gonna make sure we got all that in the truck before this snow comes so we're gonna do that here real quick starting to come down already it's tuesday uh evening here tuesday around five make sure we got our toe strap in here got our toe strap in here get the phone call Tonight, we're down to about uh, three to six inches of snow by the morning as we head into your forecast tomorrow. We're still looking at very active weather through the next couple of days despite that lull in the morning. Another 10 to 16 inches of snow are likely overnight Wednesday throughout especially Thursday morning. And that's more widespread. That's across all of central and southern Minnesota, even further north.
right, so I'm out here solo right now well, with my little buddy, Wes, my little helper. Say hi to the camera, Wes. Hi, uh, yeah. Got my snowblower in the back warming up while I'm finishing plowing this one up. Uh, my dad and Kettler are currently working together with the other blades truck, so you may or may not have seen that by now. I might have put that clip in there, maybe not. We'll see. Uh, but yeah, they're out there working hard and we decided to go uh, two trucks here to, to get ahead of this kind of this blizzard here that's rolling in. Not too bad as of just yet. I think we got about four inches down here, but it's blowing four or five inches, light fluffy snow and a, a heck of a ice layer underneath. So, all right, I'm gonna snowball this thing and I'll be back in the truck with you guys. Ledge of ice here. Woo wee. There was one day in February that we had a solid inch of rain. One day. out of this get too hot shoveling jumping in the truck oh well I'm sure if you guys know anything about plowing snow you can probably see that we're gonna run into an issue here shortly so the issue that I'm talking about is the snow piles snow piles are not nearly far enough back to hold this foot plus of snow that we're gonna get tonight. It's gonna be nasty, guys. Uh, I know it, the sun is out right now, so that's really good. <clears throat> but this afternoon, this evening, I think it's supposed to start around four o'clock. It's gonna be pretty ugly. So uh, it's gonna be nice here. We're gonna probably actually have the entire route wrapped up in about five hours with the two trucks out plowing so that's really nice gonna save us some time but yeah really concerned about the snow piles here i do have a friend oh, here let me adjust you guys quick do have a friend that did offer to come out now obviously charge us but come out with a skid loader and push some of those piles back in fact i have two friends that would probably do that if i asked but uh, that would be later on in the week because if we get any more snow this year, we're gonna be pooched, to say the least, pooched. Ooh, Wes, that sun is bright, huh?
kind of a long truck to plow with though, isn't it? He says it's horrible. <laughs> Yeah, it feels really weird being in this one again. Uh, See, mommy. It wouldn't. I don't think it would be nearly as bad if the plow was wider. Maybe, yeah. Yeah, do it. There you go. Just careful, cause there. Don't push on it too far, though, cause there's a retaining wall underneath there. Yep, you can keep going. All right, that's probably good right there, yep. Nice. Yeah, really nice. All right. Okay, let's get, the, we'll get the snow blowers out. Well, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'm out just checking on a few accounts tonight here. I'm at the, the shopping mall here in Princeton. We do the sidewalks. And uh, I was a little bit concerned about the south end of this building here just because the wind is ripping out of the north. And what tends to happen is up on, it's a flat roof and the snow likes to blow across and then kind of cups around that corner of the building right there by h &R Block and it ends up on the sidewalk. So I'm gonna close the door here. The light's gonna turn off. I got my other light on here though. We're gonna go check it out and see kind of what we're in for. Oh. Jump out and take a look. Like we're gonna be in for it. Let's say there's a couple inches plus four on there, probably around six inches. <laughs> oh boy, we're gonna be in for it, guys. Next week's video here, we'll be out uh, doing this blizzard plowing, so you won't want to miss that. We'll see you on the next one, guys. Thanks for watching.